think there's always something to do here. All the major cities are like about an hour to two hours away. I think Leicester's a five minute city, isn't it? You've got five minutes to the train station, five minutes to the yeah. coach station. Five minutes for you, I walk slowly. <laughs> They found uh, Richard III buried in, in a car park, and obviously that's brought a lot of people into the city. And city centre is really, really busy. We've got the Curve Theatre. The Little Theatre. The Y Theatre. Phoenix Cinema and the Athena. Odeon Cinema. Showcase have the latest cinema releases, and they also show a range of different things, from ballets to theatrical events, circus performances as well. Oh, we have Dave's Comedy Festival. Literally by the channel, Dave, some of the biggest sort of comedians in the country come down to Leicester and perform. We also have students from the comedy, society that, that have a chance to perform. I like the busy atmosphere of the Leicester City Centre. We've got Super Dry, Hugo Boss Store, Apple Store as well, I mean, all these new shops coming in. Down the lanes you have more boutique shops. But they've got different unique stuff that you don't find everywhere. There's also the shop called the Somewhere Two Shop. Say if you're an art student and you want to showcase your artwork, you can have your own sort of shop space for a day, which is quite good. So we've got High Cross, they do 15% off in like River Island, um, Top Shop. Sometimes 25%. So you're just waving your student card everywhere. So the football stadium's just around the corner from the university. So rugby as well. It does give you a bit of a different vibe seeing a lot of people come down to the city just for the football. So we have Castle Gardens, which is right by um, the university. Students can stroll through there to get to their lectures. And it's a great place in the summertime for students to be revising outdoors. I've also played football a couple of times in uh, Victoria Park, quite a, uh, a few big open spaces. There's affordable gyms as well that you could go to. The DMU Leisure Centre is really um, close by as well, um, really affordable, it's something like 48p a day to go there. There's a gym with all the cardio equipment, weights, it's, it's really good to go there, de-stress, get fitter. There's a lot more vegetarian restaurants in yes. Leicester. There's more variety of food available for all types of people. There's also the European market that takes yeah, place as well is, and they, yeah. they sell a range of different um, foods and gifts. The High Cross Shopping Centre Food Court has um, a vast range of different restaurants from Pizza Express to Wagamama's and Chimichanga. Lots of promotion for students. But there's also Bombay Bites that's just around the corner which is good, <laughs> it's an Indian restaurant. Same with Tinseltown, they do possibly the best milkshakes okay. in the world. Ah, oh, it's yum! <laughs> We have Club Republic, uh, which is in the city centre, and we also have XY, and the OK for students as well. Riley's Bar is really close to yeah the pool and snooker bar. Then you've got the Braunston Gate area, which has got quite a few bars, so like Mars Bar. So we've got big artists that come to the Mumford Hall. Paloma Faith is here. Quite a few big um, Indian artists as well, and Pakistani singers. I've been to a couple of them. Kasabian performed in Victoria Park, yeah. Some of the local bars, you have a lot of acoustic, some amateur artists, upcoming artists. That... I think that's what the cookie's there for, yeah. yeah. I think it's fun as well and because you get to learn like uh, different cultures, you get to meet different people really who have different opinions to you. Loads of different experiences that we can share with each other.